despite the fact that there are no special complaints about the quality of the paintwork and corrosion resistance. It is recommended to pay special attention to the condition of the body elements before buying. The fact is that the car has a reputation as a sport and dynamic car. In this regard, this car was mainly bought by young riders, who often became participants in minor accident. Of the troubles inherent in the paintwork, it can be noted the swelling and peeling of the paint on the trunk lid, most often in the area of U200B, U200B THE lamps. As for the electrics here, special attention should be paid to the electric drives for folding mirrors. They stop working over time. The reason is that the mechanism is clogged. In most cases, the malfunction can be eliminated by cleaning the mechanism. Also, the failure of the trunk lid lock limit switch can be attributed to common malfunctions. To fix the problem, you will have to change the lock. It only changes when assembled with a handle in the form of a company emblem. Motors of 1.4 and 1.6 of the MPI family have proven themselves to be the most reliable and cheapest in operation. Of the shortcomings, it can be noted, perhaps low power and difficult startup in the cold season. Some owners complain about increased engine vibration at idle. If there are symptoms, experts recommend refleshing the engine control unit, but to be honest, this procedure solved the problem in isolated cases. On a car with a mileage of more than 150,000 km, the engine begins to slowly eat up oil. FSI direct injection engines make the Seat Leon II a good lighter, but they have a number of drawbacks. For example, there are problems with the variable valve timing system, and over time, the corrugation of the exhaust system breaks on many copies. It cars manufactured after 2009, individual ignition coils, a metal timing chain and its tensioners are not famous for a large resource, and this type of engine suffers from the accumulation of suit on the valves. Owners of cars with engines of the TSI family often encounter a malfunction of the crankshaft position sensor. Also, problems were noted with the reliability of the timing chain, there were cases when it stretched and jumped for 120-140,000 km. On some spacement pistons burned out by 150,000 km, the problem was not widespread. If, after a long stop in the cold season, the engine works like a diesel, rumbles, vibrations appear, the reason is most likely a failed valve timing regulator. It changes along with the chain, tensioner and damper. The 1.8 engine is the most expensive power unit, both in maintenance and repair. The fact is that a large number of new VW Group technologies have been applied here. One of these innovations was the new generation long chain, the so-called toothed chain which drives both camshafts. A short chain drives the oil pump. Motors of the TFSI family are quite economical, but at the same time they have impressive dynamics. However, such power units have never been reliable. The most common problems are increased oil consumption, up to 1 liter per 1000 km, a small resource of the timing chain and ignition coils, and destruction of cylinder wall. The turbine with careful operation serves 150-200,000 km. In engines with direct injection, a large amount of soot forms quite quickly in the intake manifold. Most often owners of cars in the first year of production face a problem. Among the shortcomings of all power units, periodic minor electronic malfunctions can be noted. Diesel engines, like gasoline engines, basically deserve only positive feedback. The main advantages of heavy fuel engines are efficiency, consumption of 5-6 liters per 100, and good traction. After 2009, all diesel engines began to use the common real fuel system. As a result, when using low-quality fuel, problems begin to appear with injectors, injection pumps and the EGR valve. Of the common troubles, failure and cracking of the cylinder head can be noted here. Most often the problem occurs on 2.0 TDI PD engines. If the car is constantly operated in the city, then the resource of the particulate filter is significantly reduced. Among the minor shortcomings, one can note the increased noise of the engine, a small resource of engine mounts, a Bendix freezing in the cold, a well-known problem of starters that are installed on cars that are part of the VW Group. The Seat Leon II was equipped with 5 and 6 speed mechanics, Tiptronic automatic transmission, as well as a 6 speed DSG robot. Mechanical problems can start quite early, after 100,000 km. The most common trouble is the rapid wear of the double bearing, the symptoms are increased noise. 
On diesel version by 150,000 km, a dual mass flywheel may need to be replaced. Symptoms are knocking when shifting gears. The clutch, even with an aggressive driving style, takes care of more than 100,000 km. The automatic transmission is quite reliable, but by 150,000 km the valve body may need to be replaced. Symptoms, jerks, appear during gear shifting and during sharp acceleration. The robotic transmission has gained notably on many of Volkswagen and Skoda models. However, the mechanics of Seat branded service station assure that these units do not have characteristic problems like on other models. Mechatronics and clutch fail by 100,000 km. There is no way to confirm or refute their words, since this model with a DSG box has never been popular with us. Independent suspension is used on both axles of the Seat Leon 2. McPherson strut in front, multi-link in the back. The suspension is quite stiff, especially felt on cars that have 17-18 inch rims shot in low-profile rubber. Most often, the rear silent blocks of the front levers are disturbing in the suspension. On our roads, they give up after 50-70,000 km. The front ones can last up to 140,000 km. But the stabilizer struts, as a rule, go up to 70-90,000 km. Stabilizer bushings serve an average of 130-150,000 km. But their replacement is not cheap, since they change as an assembly with the stabilizer. Shock absorbers, ball bearings and wheel bearings, change assembled with the hub, can last up to 200,000 km. The rear suspension is also quite hardy and does not require special attention up to 100,000 km. Here, the stabilizer bushings are the first to be surrendered. As a rule, this happens on a run of 100-120,000 km. A little later, by 120-130,000 km, the hum of the rear breakup levers wear out. The remaining elements of the rear suspension go up to 150-180,000 km. Important, before buying, be sure to check the condition of the breakup bolts. The steering system is reliable, but not eternal. The first signs of wear of the steering rack, leaks and knocking when driving on Roth roads, appear closer to 150,000 km. As a rule, the bushings break. The average resource of steering tips is 100-120,000 km. Thrust go up to 150,000 km. As for the brake system, there are no comments on its reliability. The interior of the cabin, like the body, is decorated in a sporty style. If we talk about the quality of finishing materials, then as a rule, there are no comments to it. There are no complaints about the wear resistance of the finish, but there are minor complaints about sound insulation and visibility, and if the first drawback can be corrected, then the second one will have to be measured. Electrical equipment is reliable and does not cause unnecessary trouble. If you are the owner of this car model, please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your review that will help readers of our site when chosen a car.